So here we are again, 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 again. I think, I, I still think this is such a great way for me to practice and for perhaps some of you to get access to something that you need to. Because this energetic field that we are all a part of, we are sharing everything anyways. So why not sharing it here? I also like to write the diary sometimes, but <laughs> that's just keeping it for myself. So this is much more fun, I think. And I am practicing. So I just, before we uh, go into it, today I want to go with the Work Your Light alone. Yesterday I went with both of the decks I'm using. Uh, but today only this I am drawn to. And I just want to share with you an experience I had yesterday with a friend of mine. We had an, an encounter where we uh, talked about things and uh, some th things came through to me. And I have been speaking a lot and I have known, known a lot about this nature breathing through you, breath of life through us. And that makes a great lot of sense for me uh, on how the nature of life force also exists for us, available. But he, and then another picture in my head, the philosophical term between heaven and earth, made new sense to me, because there was this aha moment I had yesterday with this encounter of a friend, where um, she, uh, well, we, I got this picture of before I saw the earth, me standing on it, and the heavens above, the spirit world above. And I know it's not that. I know that the spirit world is all around us and inside everything. But suddenly I just had this great picture or film that there is nothing in between. I'm not the thing in between heaven and earth. I'm not the one in between. The earth, oh sorry, the earth is me. I'm made up of stuff like that. And the same thing the other way around. The heavens is me. I am breathing it. I am it. It's penetrating. It's, it's touching my skin and it's penetrating my body because that's how it works <laughs> in the nature the nature of the air and the surroundings here. So it was such an integrating experience of not being between heaven and earth, but being, being it. And it was kind of a experience of having this sacred uh, union. It was, it was so beautiful and I don't think I can explain it other than I, there was no split between heaven and earth. No, heaven and earth were like this. And me, not in between, but being both. And that's the same for you because you are made of the same material than I am. <laughs> Physical stuff and also being the one who's breathing in. I just wanted to share that because that makes so much sense. And as always, I am going to shuffle these new cards and let's see if one can come out. And um, no, they are sticking together. I want to shuffle them so they don't stick together and then just wait till one comes out. And then I'll read from the book and I'll make the channeling in the end. <laughs> That's definitely too many. See, I love the reason why I told you the thing I experienced yesterday is because there are so many things going on in the collective. That's not only the experience is not only for me, it's for many. And uh, if we can. I mean, I also have get in inspiration from other people around me, from some of those tarot uh, readers and, and guides on the internet, on YouTube. And I mean, why not 
let us change the or exchange the inspirations, all of us. So you, even though I just have my perspective, perhaps it can help you develop yours. And that's the whole reason for doing this, isn't it? To develop our own ability to navigate our own lives in a broader and broader perspective. At least that's what I think it's all about. Or some of it. There are so many good reasons to doing this job. And if this takes a very long time, then just go ahead. Skip a couple of minutes until I reach one card. <laughs> to be seen and it's the one card that I don't really understand the word and I couldn't find it but I think I know what it's about it's called trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you trust the niggle and I think it's about these little mm, red flags inside of you what is this red flag telling me I guess. But let's read from the book. <coughs> that niggling feeling, that annoying niggling feeling, that inconvenient annoying niggling feeling. Try as you might, it's there and it ain't going anywhere. Most people spend years ignoring their niggling feelings, throwing their best ballops of stubbornness, ego and post-rationalization post to, numb, to numb them out. It's exhausting. And until you face the niggle, life just throws you more bait to awaken to. To draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting to come out. The niggle is an arrow pointing to, <clears throat> to what is standing in your way. The relationship, the conversation, the decision, the shift that, ne that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. Often, we feel the niggling feeling in our body first. Many people think that intuition is something from the higher realms, but in fact it is the body that is the intuitive one, working through our senses to deliver vibrational information. It takes just a moment every day to scan your body, to receive the intuitive intelligence and act on it quickly. You are being called to face the niggle now. If you don't face it, the universe will throw something much bigger and more obvious in your path. And then you will likely regret that you didn't answer the niggle in the first place. I know it's scary, but you are safe. Answer the niggle now. And then there is work your light inquiry. What is your niggling feeling trying to tell you? So let's see what's coming out from this one. I kind of like it very much indeed, because this is so much. This is so important to get to know it in, ev in everyday life, to be, be able to react on these small things that can feel, well, I'll just throw it aside and then it'll be forgotten. Well, no, it's not forgotten. It's important. And it's also good for me to have this one because I also got, get those niggles and sometimes I don't want to see it. So let's see what they come with from, from the other side or from here. Yes, we could be like the teacher now. We could be like the one pointing out the finger and saying, didn't you know? Didn't you hear us the first time? 
We tried to tell you, but you didn't want to listen. But see, that teacher with the pointed finger, that's not going to help you. And that's actually not going to help any of us at all. That's not why we give you the niggle. Or that's not why you sense the niggle. No, it's in fact a very calm thing. It's a very gentle thing. And it's not scary at all. Only when you don't want to listen to it the first or the second or the third time, then it gets painful because then we must, or your system must invent newer things that you can hear that are telling you, no, don't do this, don't go there, change. But that niggle, that's a beautiful system for you. And you know it. You really do. You know it when it's there. It's for you to be able to navigate your life. So when you feel not at ease with yourself, then it's time to sit down and reflect. What is it that this not ease is telling me? See, life should be easy. And when it's not easy, that's just... <laughs> then it's just the telling your system, recognizing something is offbeat. I must get into alignment again. And perhaps my life should be... I should perhaps be removing these little obstacles. It's often not great big things. Often it's just this little adjustment. Perhaps saying goodbye to a friend that's not long, no longer that mm, friend anymore. And it's not because you don't love him or her. You can love him or her the rest of your life. But if it's not time now for the physical encounter, then say goodbye. See you around. Or if it's a food, some special thing that you really can feel that your body says no to, then respect that. No, it's not that big of a deal. Just ha have faith in your, what your body is telling you. And if that niggling feeling tells you, oh, I don't want to, I want to, I don't want to do anything else than lying on my couch today, if that is okay with you, and if it doesn't, if, if, it, if it's possible, I mean, we know you have the physical life that you must take care of, but if it's possible to take a day on your couch, then it's fine. But if the niggling feeling tells you, oh, I shouldn't be lying on the couch, then get up. And it can change in a minute. Perhaps you lay on the couch with ease. And then seven minutes later, you feel that niggling feeling, oh, I must get up. Then get up. Changing is okay. In fact, it's the most important thing that you can be able to change. Without losing yourself. You must always have this experience of your own centeredness. Then you are not being caught up in emotions. Then you are here. And then it is easy to follow the niggle. Or not follow the niggle, but listen to the niggle and follow the ease. And the more you practice, the easier it gets. And the more you practice realizing that nickel and going for the ease of it, perhaps it takes some time to get through a little bit of pain to release the nickel or what lies behind the nickel. But it's okay, pain is not 
Pain is not dangerous and it's not something that you, you should avoid. It's just the interpretation of the pain that is important to know. The perspective of the pain. The pain is nothing in itself. It's just a transformation sign. It's just a sign that something is changing. And you shouldn't be afraid of pain. You should just let it go through you. And know that it is because you are changing some things inside of you. And in, perhaps in the external world. But pain is not... You shouldn't be afraid of pain. Pain is right. It's okay. It's fine. It's the same as confusion. Then let yourself be confused. It's just something that must go through you and then you can find the new path of ease. So enjoy, actually, enjoy the nickel and bless it. It's your own guidance system telling you where to go and where not to go, what to do and what not to do, making it easier for you to breathe all along. And yes, you need consciousness to do this. And that is what you are here to develop anyway. So it's a win-win situation. You take yourself serious in an easy way. And then you get consciousness broadened, building up, strong, stronger, strengthening. Your consciousness about yourself and about life in general. And there's no need to be in a hurry. No. As long as you're conscious, on your way. And as long as you have fun. And as long as you take change serious. And As long as you still are curious about what life unfolding for you is all about. You are alive. You are here. On earth. In the heavens. For the first time made very possible to be both at once. And that is magnificent. And it is a mystery. And you, my friend, you, you have the possibility to live it. Please take the invitation. Accept the invitation. Love the invitation to live your life fully. Enjoy your life. <sighs> hmm. Yes. I think they are very good at saying it all. <laughs> so there's not much for me to say, is there? They make it seem so easy, but believe me, they know that everyday life here in human form is not always easy. But it gets more and more easy the more we understand the nature of it all and the tools that is our consciousness and our physical form available for us to work with on deep levels. And then it's fun all the way, even though it's painful sometimes. And believe me, I know pain. And I'm also loving it without getting stuck on it, without searching for change. No, sometimes it's just happening. I'm going with the flow of it 
taking it easy and yet still being serious about it or making just take it for what it is. It opens up new doors for us, right? And I'm Sagittarius. I love new doors. <laughs> I am the adventurous type. Not so much in the outside, but in the inside. Well, I hope something could help you, inspire you, or at least just you enjoyed a moment. <laughs> Bye for now.